and remind you, regardless if you have a bulge, to keep your over 60% of women experience diastasis recti during pregnancy or postpartum. And 30% of women still struggle with it after a year. There are millions of women that don't feel attractive, that hide their stomach because there's possibly a bulge or they have a pouch. There are women that possibly want to give up. And if that's you, listen up. I am here to support, guide you and remind you, regardless if you have a bulge, to keep your head up, you will get back to how you was before or even better. So ladies, I have created a 14 day diastasis recti challenge. Now you can get this free program today so you can get the ball rolling and be the best versions of yourself. So you can feel stronger and feel more confident even if it's you just wearing a crop top. So make sure you share this challenge with a friend because this might give them the encouragement that they probably need. But please don't forget, you can do this challenge every single day. But if you're forgetting about the most important thing, you won't see a change. And the most important thing is your diet. Now you probably don't know what you should be eating or how many calories you should be consuming. So you know what, the next 100 women that go and download the ML Fitness app, I'm gonna give you a 20% discount off so we can get the ball rolling today. So click the link in the description. All right. Get yourself on the mat and let's get to work. Let's go. Diastasis recti is when your belly sticks out because there is space between your left and also your right abdominal muscles, which have now stretched and widened apart. It's very common among pregnant women. Two thirds of pregnant women have it. Don't forget that. So let me tell you how we're going to close the gap and how we're going to get your abdominal muscles even stronger. And it's not gonna be by doing crunches. We're going to focus on core exercises, we're going to focus on our breathing, and we're going to focus on mind-muscle connection through every single exercise. But ladies, don't worry, you're not doing this by yourself. We're gonna be doing this together. I'm going to talk you through each exercise, give you the support and knowledge you need for each exercise, and we are going to work on this together. Can't stress that enough. Let's get on our backs and let's get to work. Okay ladies, so make sure your back is flat on the floor. There shouldn't be an arch. Keep it planted on the floor. So, hands by your side. You're going to bring your feet up. Your knees are just above your hips. We're going to alternate legs. So it's going to go down and then alternating sides. Now making sure you have mind-muscle connection and you are squeezing your abdominal. This shouldn't be relaxed. Keep it nice and tight, nice and slow and controlled. Now make sure you're breathing. You do not want to hold it in. You want to breathe. That's it. Keep Three, it tight. We're nearly done. Two, one. Lovely. For the 20 second rest, I want you to focus on your breathing. Every time you breathe out, you're contracting and keeping your stomach nice and tight. So inhale. Okay, we are moving into the second exercise. Using both of your feet now, you're gonna go down, keeping your back flat on the mat. Keep your core engaged, bring yourself back up. So you're gonna go down, two second pause at the bottom, bring yourself up. That's it. Remember focusing on your breathing, making sure everything is controlled. There's no rush when we're doing this. That's it, we're nearly done. Three, two, one. Good work. Remember 20 seconds, focus on your breathing now. When you breathe out, you push your back into the floor, contracting your stomach. Good work. Starting with your left leg up, right leg straight. You're gonna raise, bring it into your knee and stretch out. So every time you bring it in, you squeeze your stomach, stretch out. High, squeeze, stretch.
Make sure that back is flat on the mat. Three, two, Good work. One. There we go, focusing on our breathing. Close your eyes if you have to and really focus on that breathing, ladies. I'm going to the opposite leg now. Let's go. Left leg straight. Bring it into your chest and move it all the way around. Leg straight. Every time you bring it in, you keep that stomach tight. And now remember my muscle connection. Bring it in, squeeze, stretch out. Make sure your back is flat. There should be no gap. Nice and flat on the mat. 10 seconds left. Good work. Three, two, one. We're back to our breathing. Great work, ladies. All we're going to be doing now, have your knees slightly bent, arms straight. We're going to lift your head up, looking up towards the ceiling. We're going to go up and down with our arms. Now, every time we go down, we squeeze our stomach and we're focusing on our breathing. So we breathe out. Good work, ladies. Looking up towards the ceiling. If you feel a small little ache in your neck, you can bring your neck down. Just again, keep your back flat and stomach Three, tight. Two, one. Great work, we are back to the breathing. Well done. Now we are going to bring our legs up again, just above our hips, arms straight, your left leg is gonna go straight, your right arm is gonna go straight as well, keeping your back flat on the mat. Alternating. Remember, mind-muscle connection, remember what we're trying to work. Focusing on your breathing, do not hold it in. Great work, great work. We're back to our breathing. Okay, we are going on our all fours. With our all fours, same thing. So your right arm goes out, left leg goes out. Keep that core nice and tight. Alternating sides. Great work, ladies. Squeeze. Remember, this shouldn't be relaxed. Well done. Three, nearly done, we're nearly two, done. One. Now right here, I just want you to focus on your breathing. Okay, so your hands are going to be shoulder width apart. You're going to push and make a small little rounded spine. And as you come back in, you keep your stomach contracted, squeeze and breathe out the top. And keeping your stomach contracted, it shouldn't be relaxed. So breathe in. Exhale. Exhale. 
Great work. Three, two, one more. One. Well done, well done, ladies. Ooh, I've got two more exercises to go. Two more. Now we are staying on our all fours. With our all fours, you're going to raise yourself up, keep your stomach tight, three seconds, and back down. Yeah, let's do this. So up, one, two, three, back down. When you are up, make sure your stomach is contracted. You shouldn't be relaxed. Back down. Squeeze. Back down. Make sure that your chest is in line with your hands. So you shouldn't be all the way over here. Be right in line with your hands. And down. One more for me. Let's go. One more. One. Great work. We are going back down onto our backs. Now this one's going to be fairly simple, but again, mind muscle connection. I just need you to focus on your breathing. So hands on your head, have your back planted onto the mat, focus on your breathing. So inhale, exhale and squeeze. Inhale, exhale and squeeze, squeeze, keep it tight, inhale, exhale and squeeze. When you inhale, you're still keeping your back on the floor. One more and we are all done ladies, one more. And give yourself a round of applause. Well done, great work, great work. Give yourself another round of applause. Ladies, remember we are doing a 14 day challenge and I want you to get involved. Remember, if you wanna see a transformation, you need to focus on your nutrition. I'm gonna give you a 20% discount off the ML Fitness app so I can customize a meal plan just for you. The link is in the description. And don't forget, keep your head up you still look amazing regardless of the bulge i am here to support you no matter what yeah all right i'll see you in the next video